This lesson is to show you how to fill your body CAD with denim fabric from the internet. Um, this is going to be a tutorial done through Adobe Illustrator primarily. So here you see I can have I have two denim swatches that I pulled from the internet that gives you a very realistic texture to what real denim fabric looks like rather than trying to render a vectorized looked in Illustrator, I prefer to use actual denim fabric swatches. So first thing, let's go to the internet. And here I am in the internet. I did a Google search of denim fabric and I clicked on images. And now I kind of scroll through my images. One thing I want to just give you a tip on is to not choose fabric swatches, whether they're denim or any other fabric swatch off the internet that has things like this where the fabric's wrinkled up or um, folded. This would be a bad one too. Or maybe it has some seam work in it. You really want to find flat swatches. You won't want to stay away from anything that's kind of layered or um, manipulated in any way. You really want to find swatches like the one I clicked on here. And you can see in this denim swatch that it, it's, it's pretty uh, flat and also there's no shadow effects. So you really want to stay away from things like this that have shadow effects in it. Also the fabric's folded. But you know, just anything, I'm trying to find a swatch that might have a, be a flat swatch. Oh, here's a good example. This one right here, if I clicked on this one, this has some irregular shadow effects, some areas where it's darker and lighter, um, where the light might be hitting it in the photograph um, lighter up here, but it appears darker down here. I would stay away from denim swatches or any kind of fabric swatch that has the light indicated in the photograph. You wanna really find flat images of denim um, that really are pretty even coloration and even lighting in the photograph. Once you find that, just do a right click copy image from the internet and then go back into um, your Adobe Illustrator document. So once I copy and paste that, let me just copy and paste it because you're gonna see that it's gonna paste it into large scale. So Command-V to paste. It's going to paste super large some of these swatches, not all of them, but most of them will. So when you do that, you can either scale using the black arrow, holding Shift to pull it down and scale proportionally, or remember we also have our scale tool. So you can click on the scale tool and the scale tool will just give you these little crosshairs. Again, you hold Shift and use the scale tool only from the left corner pulling inward to make something smaller. So only use the scale tool pulling inward from the left corner. It's really important or else it'll skew your pattern. So scale it down and put it next to the body CAD that you want to scale. So let me bring it back up here. In this case, I copied a black and white sketch that I had up here. You always want to kind of keep a black and white sketch available with nothing in it before you fill it in with pattern and color. So always keep a black and white of any CAD that you do. It's always a really good thing to have that version. But once I scale it to a scale that I feel like is pretty close in terms of that it would look realistic next to my body CAD scale, because my body CAD is a lot smaller um, of a garment than the real life garment would be, but this fabric swatch should look like it was cut into this scaled body. So you want to definitely not have something humongous like that because that would not be accurate to the way the fabric would be if it was laying on the table and being cut to a pattern this small. So I think this looks pretty good. And the one thing I'll tell you about denim fabric in particular is they're usually always got obvious twill, twill definition. So I'm gonna zoom in. You can see these obviously diagonal lines going through it. So you want to make sure that your, your denim swatch has that. Not all denim swatches have it, like this one actually doesn't. Um, but this one does. So once you have that, go into window swatches. Once you have your denim swatch scaled, click and drag it into denim swatches and you will see it'll appear right there. Then you can move this off to the side. And then what you wanna do is take the white arrow, make sure your fill box is on top. We don't need window color, but make sure to corner your fill box, even though it has a question mark on it, is on top. Click on the white arrow, even if your body cat is grouped, to fill any body cat with pattern and color, you always use the white arrow and you just click on the line that is your full body shape. You don't want to click on anything that's like a loose piece or a separate group shape like these cuffs and the, and the waist tie are separate group shapes. First, I want to click on the body shape and fill it in with the pattern. So make sure your fill box is on top and then we're going to click on our pattern swatch and window swatches. And here's our denim swatch, already scaled, looks amazing. Now we're going to go into the white arrow and just start selecting the other areas. You can hold shift to select um, multiple uh, join shapes at one time. 
and then again fill box on top keep your black stroke outline intact that's really important and then fill it with your pattern swatch and then you obviously see that i need to fill this too so you click on these fill them and now you have your denim filled pattern one thing i will tell you is that if you're using um a dark darker denim like i have right here sometimes maybe your black stroke outlines like in your fabric uh, gathers or in your belt might not um, show as well like if i zoom out you don't see them as obviously so sometimes you might want to darken the black stroke outline in those areas so what you can do is you can click on the black the black stroke of any um, shape that you have and you can do a select same stroke color and you can see that even in the um, black and white version here that I didn't even put denim in yet um, it selected anything that was a black stroke color and the great thing is I always CAD my CADs with the same exact black stroke color so that now it selects all the same black stroke color and then you click on your stroke box put it on top we always use this as our black um, which is usually fine but this time I might want to go a little darker down to the darkest dark black which I would select here in the color picker window hit OK and now you'll see that sometimes on these darker denim swatches that you lose the black the black outline of some of these details it will become much more darker and more richer even when you fill it in with denim so that's how you want to do a denim swatch inside of your um, garment CAD and for my students that are completing the short romper with tie assignment this is what your CAD template will look like completed with a black and light uh, sketch of your romper front and back view and then the denim version front and back view as well so you'll lay it out like that but both your front and back view will be filled with denim.